Spirit Halloween has revealed their 2024 Halloween animatronics lineup and given us a first glimpse at this year's new releases. Hey everybody, Matt here with Halloween Daily News and it has been a wild and exciting week for animatronics enthusiasts specifically here um, in the last few days beginning with Lowe's dropping a ton of of new 2024 Halloween products online and putting them available to order just a few days ago. Um, Party City followed that up on Thursday, June 6th, by revealing their full line. They've been revealing a few items each week for the last few weeks. On Thursday, they put everything online up for pre-order. They did a live video with details. We've got a breakdown of all of that at HalloweenDailyNews.com right now. But on Friday, June 7th, Spirit released their first official sneak peek promo video, giving us a first glimpse at their 2024 lineup of new and returning Halloween animatronics, including a new officially licensed Michael Myers and Art the Clown animatronics. So what we're going to do is break down pretty much frame by frame what we saw in this very brief seven second video like Spirit does around this time most years. It is just a very quick tease, but if you freeze frame it, you will find there is lots to chew on in here and lots to get excited about. You will recall that just a couple days ago as we were recording this, Spirit revealed the names of this year's lineup. And among those names were a couple officially licensed IPs, including Michael Myers, Art the Clown, Ghostface, and Emily and Victor from Corpse Bride. So we got a little taste of all of that and much more from the Carnival lineup in this promo video. So Here's the video itself, and then we are going to jump in with our breakdown. Welcome <laughs> to the carnival. So the promo starts with this image of someone or something um, appearing to hold, I guess this is probably a cane with like a gold skull on top of it. Um, a voiceover says, welcome to the carnival. I'm guessing this is very likely the new animatronic known as the Ringmaster. Again, we're piecing this together based on the names that were revealed earlier this week. So the first animatronic that pops up appears to be the talking skeleton animatronic known as Grimm, here decked out for the carnival, apparently back for 2024. Next, we get this quick shot of uh, something with some hairy clawed feet standing on a ball. I'm guessing this might be Barnaby the Bear, a name that was teased earlier this week. Here we have our first look at a new clown animatronic. I'm guessing this is Nibbles the Clown. Again, just piecing the clues together. We got the names a few days ago. Now we're getting just these quick images today in this promo video. And um, as you can see, he's holding a lollipop that he has uh, nibbled just a little bit out of. And of course, this image immediately jumped out at me. We get just a half a second of a right arm dressed in a dark blue coveralls outfit, raising a bloody knife. You can see that those coveralls have bullet holes. All of this signifies that this has got to be the new 2024 Michael Myers animatronic. We know this is coming again because Michael Myers was among the names listed in that initial reveal earlier this week. And those bullet holes in the coverall definitely suggest that this Michael Myers animatronic is officially licensed from the 1981 sequel Halloween 2. All we can see here is that the right arm holding the knife will move up and down and obviously you guys know i can't wait to see more of this animatronic you may remember the last time that spirit halloween 
carried an officially licensed Michael Myers animatronic was back in 2018. And that particular animatronic was officially licensed from the 1998 sequel Halloween H2O. In the years since then, we have had two different officially licensed Halloween 2 Michael Myers animatronics released. Uh, one produced by Jemmy and sold through Lowe's. The other produced by Techie and sold through Party City. So I definitely cannot wait to see how this new Michael Myers animatronic from Spirit Halloween shapes up to the others. Next, we get this shot of uh, somebody's feet wearing some bright blue shoes and a bucket of cotton candy with what appears to be a cotton candy mop, maybe going in and out of it, kind of treating the cotton candy bucket like a, a uh, janitor's bucket and mop. I don't know what's going on here, but I have to assume that this is the new animatronic known as Cotton Candy Dan. He was listed along with the Ringmaster and Nibbles the Clown and Barnaby the Bear among the main attractions this year. Didn't we get some super quick flashes? This one of a tombstone that says, In Memory of Our Dear Friend. And there is something or someone lurking just behind it out of view. Again, I am just using our powers of deduction here and the process of elimination going by those names revealed just a few days ago. I am guessing that this is probably Gravestone Ghoul. He was listed under the Oddities and Curiosities section. And I wouldn't be surprised if he is a uh, smaller animatronic that very possibly his motion pops up from behind this tombstone. We get just a quick shot of a rat prop and some uh, radioactive waste here. I don't really know exactly what else uh, there is to see in this one. We see a banner hanging up advertising Monty, the circus monkey animatronic. Um, that certainly seems to signify that he'll be back for 2024. Here we have some oversized clown feet. And um, I do believe that this is one of the blasts from the past that were teased in those animatronic name reveals from a few days ago. I do believe that this is the return of the creepy towering clown. We get a quick glimpse of a scarecrow animatronic peeking through the corn stalks here. I'm gonna guess that this is the animatronic that they are calling Mac Straw for obvious reasons. Not animatronics, but we see some uh, Ghostface and Michael Myers merch. Looks like some uh, plush collectibles. Here they're presented as prizes that you would win at the Carnival. Obviously, some officially licensed Ghostface and Michael Myers merch coming. Ghostface, in addition to Michael Myers, were among the names of 2024 animatronics revealed by Spirit earlier this week. And this is very exciting. We saw the names Emily and Victor listed under the uh, World Famous Entertainers selection in those animatronics name reveals a few days ago. Of course, Emily and Victor, the main characters from Tim Burton's classic movie, Corpse Bride. And this is definitely our first glimpse at the life-size, officially licensed Corpse Bride, Emily animatronic. I think these two are going to be hugely popular it's an awesome movie we're in the middle of sort of a tim burton renaissance between wednesday and this year's beetlejuice so along with beetlejuice who is also going to be everywhere this halloween season i um, very excited to see emily and victor um, just this quick glimpse seeing her bony ribs through the wedding dress and her super bright blue hair i like that it has different tones of blue and of course, the uh, kind of rotted flowers. Very nice look. Loving what we're seeing so far here. And Art the Clown is coming to Spirit Halloween. Art is going to be everywhere this Halloween. Of course, the sequel, Terrifier 3, drops in theaters unrated on October 11th. And while it is a Christmas set movie this time around, Art is going to be everywhere this Halloween season because the film will be in theaters there is already another Art the Clown animatronic that just went up for pre-order on 
Thursday, June 6th from Party City, but not to be outdone, Spirit Halloween is also bringing us their own version of an officially licensed Art the Clown animatronic in 2024, and we get just our very first tease of Spirit's animatronic in this video. If you go very, very slow, frame by frame, we get just a little bit of him in this shot here, and um, it does appear that he will also include his sunflower sunglasses. We know the Party City version includes the sunflower sunglasses, which you can get sunflower sunglasses from your local Dollar Tree, by the way. I picked up a pair uh, just a few days ago um, in the summer section. Go grab them now. But in any case, um, suggesting that this, like the Party City version, both are apparently officially licensed from the sequel, Terrifier 2. We saw a similar situation with Michael Myers, as I said, back in 2022, when we had uh, two, Halloween 2, Michael Myers on the market at the same time, one available from Lowe's, the other from Party City. Last year, it was three times the excitement with Leatherface, one available again from Lowe's, one again from Party City, and one again from Spirit. And this year, it is art pulling double duty at both Party City and Spirit Halloween. I absolutely cannot wait to see more of this animatronic. I really cannot wait to see both versions compared side by side. Very exciting time, especially if you are a uh, Terrifier fan, an Art the Clown fan, and you know we are. Be sure to check out all of our interviews with the cast and creator of the Terrifier films in the interview section of this YouTube channel. These animatronics covered in this report are not available to order quite yet as we are recording this. Of course, we will update in the description and in the comments as soon as they do become available to order online. We have included our affiliate link to the Spirit Halloween animatronics that are currently available to order and are in stock and shipping right now in the description and comments of this video. So you can shop those while we're waiting. Um, you can also find links to the Party City animatronics that are up for pre-order as of this week, as well as the mini Lowe's animatronics that are available to purchase online right now. All of that info is at HalloweenDailyNews.com, and also you can find it in our previous video reports here on this channel. Now we turn it over to you guys. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on Spirit's 2024 animatronics lineup. What are you thinking so far? What do you think of this promo video, of these quick little glimpses we got here? Which ones have you the most excited? Which ones have you salivating at the mouth? We can't wait to hear from you. And let me know what I missed in this video. Um, again, I'm sure some of you guys spotted some things that I didn't even pick up on, and many of you watching are much more well-versed in the history of Spirit's animatronics, so you might get some of the references uh, to some of the returning animatronics even better and more clear than I do. So I'd love your input as well. And uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and hit this video with a like if you enjoyed what you saw here. You're not going to want to miss any of our ongoing coverage of all things Halloween 2024 and so much more that we've got coming your way right here on this channel. We appreciate you joining us and your support. Think about becoming a channel member as too. Lots of cool exclusives and killer perks there. You can click the channel membership button for more details if you're interested in that. We'd love to have you over there. It's a fun, growing community. All right, I told you the Hallow War of 2024 was heating up. I would say it is already on fire, and it, it's not even technically summer yet, according to the calendar, but that doesn't matter, because it's always Halloween, and Halloween 2024 is in full effect in the first week of June. How rad is that? All right, let us hear from you down in the comments. Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm Matt Arts for Halloween Daily News. Thank you for watching.